As you can probably already tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a very interesting one. I've got Difa here, little baby Difa, and she's going to be helping me with today's video. So obviously Difa is not going to be physically putting makeup on me, but she is going to be choosing all of the products that I'll be using for today's look. I've picked out staples for her, different types of foundations, different types of bronzers, blushers. I've given her options so she can pick and then I have to just make it work. Let's just jump right into it. I think we should start off, obviously, with foundation. I've given her two options. She's got a powder foundation from Fenty Beauty, and she has one of my favorite foundations, a liquid foundation, the Matte Poreless from Maybelline. So let's see what she picks. All right, Difa, are you ready? Okay, come. Gone straight for the powder foundation. <laughs> Okay, so this is what she's picked, the powder foundation from Fenty Beauty. I was kind of hoping she wouldn't pick this just because not too sure if I'm the right color match for this one. I think I'm a little bit darker now, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna just push it into my skin. That's not too bad, actually. I think I can work with that. It's all over my face. That's actually not too bad. It's got great coverage. Can you see? It's got rid of all the shine as well. This side's still got shine. This one looks flawless. That's really nice. When I was a teen, so just first kind of dabbling in makeup, I always went for powder foundations. And so there was a brand, I don't know if you guys remember, is it still around? I don't even know if it is. What was it called? Bare Minerals. I used to use Bare Minerals because I was like, ooh, it must be good and healthy for your skin. That was so easy. It's like the easiest application. Just buffing it out a little bit better. Wow, that's really nice. I like how this looks on the skin. I didn't go too heavy with it, but you can. With this foundation, you can 100% go a bit heavier if you want to, but I don't think I need to at the moment, so I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so, someone's at the door. What is that? Why does it say PC? There's nothing in there. You don't be dramatic. It's not heavy. Is it heavy? Okay, so now that we're done with our foundation, we're gonna go in with concealer. So I've given her two options for concealers. We've got the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix in Deep Butter number no. seven, which is one that I use almost daily. And then we have a little bit of a, you know, a classier, a more luxurious concealer. This one is the Yves Saint Laurent, the Two Chiclet in number two. Am I saying that right? Just butchered it, I'm pretty sure, but. <laughs> okay, let's see what she chooses. Okay, go. She's gone <laughs> for the Two Chiclet. So I'm pretty sure I've butchered the name of this. So please be kind to me in the comments. <laughs> Don't, don't know French. I'm just gonna put a little bit on just the areas I want to brighten. Oh, that's nice. It's got a very nice kind of like shiny glow to it. Can you see that on my chin? Very nice. Oh, darling, you're a pretty girl. Just chilling out, wait. Good girl. Whoa, I might've put on a bit too much. So I actually like to do a triangle like that for my concealer. So I bring it down here, the, down the sides of my nose, and then bring it up. I saw it on Jennifer Lopez years and years ago. In the early 2000s, late 90s, JLo's makeup artist used to do that. Like really bright under eye triangle situation. And I always looked at it and I thought, that kind of looks nice. It just makes her look lifted and more glowy and so i've been doing that ever since it's not for everyone not everybody likes this method but it works for me i always forget with this yves saint laurent concealer you kind of have to blend a little bit faster than you normally would because it stays in place and then when it stays in place it does not move like does not budge at all all right, so concealer is on. I think it looks great. Now we're going to need to warm the face up. So bronzer is up next. I have given Difa two choices for bronzer. She's either gonna go with a cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty, or she's going to go with a powder bronzer from Gucci. Now, I already in my head know that I don't want her to pick the cream bronzer only because 
I don't know how to work with cream products. I've had makeup artists do cream makeup for me and it's beautiful and I've loved it, but when I go home and try it out for myself, I don't know what the hell I'm doing and it always comes out looking crazy. So let's cross our fingers that she doesn't choose the cream bronzer. Okay, look at her. She's so focused on the treats. Look at her face. This is the most number of treats you get. Look, she's drooling! Okay, Diva, are you ready, baby? Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Paul, good girl. All right, now you're gonna pick a bronzer for me, okay? Okay, go. She's gone for the powder bronzer. All right, this one is in shade number three. Eclat Soleil. My French is getting better with this video. I just love this color. It just gives a nice glow to the skin nothing too crazy look at that that's so nice i bring it up to my sides of my forehead yeah i kind of like that okay now that we've done our bronzer let's get difa to pick highlighters for the highlighters i've got a quad palette from dior and this one is the dior backstage glow face palette in pure gold and I have another one from Fenty Beauty. This one is Cognac Candy. The reason I chose these two is because the Dior one is slightly lighter in color and the Fenty Beauty one is a much darker highlighter. She seems to be going for the right side more than the left. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna switch up the treats and see if she still picks the right side. I'm going to put the high value treat on the left to see if she goes for that one. And then the biscuit treat on the right, cause she's always picking the right side. So I wanna see if this makes a difference or not. Go. Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. She still went for this one. So I guess the treats don't really matter. Maybe she does know what she's doing. Maybe she is picking. Maybe you are picking the look for me, huh? Okay, got my highlighting brush. Wow, do you see that? Ooh, that's a nice glow. I'm gonna bring it up here. Just do like a C shape. That's very nice. Good job, Difa. You're really good at this. I feel like I need you to do my makeup more often. So I don't always pick the same things. She's just staring at me, you guys. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Wow, nice. Good job, Dif. Paul? Yes, good girl. <laughs> now it's time for blush. Again, I've given her two options. She can decide if she wants to do a cream blush or a powder blush. So the powder blush we've got MAC under my plum. This one is beautiful. It's such a really nice color. And then we have Cheeks Out number three Bikini Martini from Fenty Beauty. I wanted to give her a bit more of a loud option for this one. I'm gonna try the same trick I did last time by putting the high value treat on this side and see if she Changes her mind or not. Difa, give mommy a paw. Good girl. Okay, go. Again, she's gone for the right. Girl, I gave you a high value treat over there. You didn't want to go for that one? Okay, well. So going in with this MAC, look how beautiful that color is. So I'm not gonna take too much on my brush, just upwards. Wow, that's such a nice color. Ooh, I love it. That's really nice. Okay, I've actually never used this one much in, in, you know, when I do my makeup. It's gonna become another option now for me. Blush is out of the way. We are pretty much halfway there. I am not gonna let her choose anything for my brows. I'm gonna do my brows myself because I mean, what really can you do with your brows, right? Let me go in and finish my brows off real quick. Brows are done. I just fill them in a little bit, brush them out. You can't really see her, but she's off screen there in the corner. She's looking like she's getting a little bit tired. So I don't know if she's about to hit a food coma, but we need to hurry this up and finish this video. Oh baby, are you okay? You're getting tired. You baby go ba do ba do. Now that we've done pretty much the entire base, we have to decide on what eye palette we're gonna be using. So I've got two options for Difa. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette and the Fenty Beauty number 10 in Money. So basically I chose an eye look that's very loud, very bright colors. And with this Charlotte Tilbury, it's kind of muted every day, nice nudes, nice pinky tones. I feel like I don't even know where to put it down now. Lou, help me out. Tell me left or right. 
Okay, thank you. Lou said to put money down on the right side, so I'm going with him. Okay, go. She's picked money, so let's go with that. Oh man, I've gotta come up with a green look. I don't know what to do. I've got a blending brush. I'm just going to go in with the only neutral color here, which is that one. Tifa, you can lie down, baby. Lie down, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> She's so cute, you guys. So like I said, just taking that brown in the sockets and the crease and just blending that out. Okay, this is blended out very nicely. I'm gonna go this all over the lid. So let me just change my brush. Wow, that's a nice color, isn't it? So all over the lid and then I'm going to bring it up. See that? Bring this up and then sort of blend it out with the same brush. Ooh, wow. Okay, now I'm gonna take a bit of the darker color, do it in the inner corners and outer corners. So this is what I've got so far. You just, the key is just to keep blending, 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 and it'll all just magically somehow come together. Let me just move on to the bottom. I'm just gonna drag the liner down a little bit on the bottom. Wow, that looks kind of nice. I wasn't expecting it to come out this good. Now we've got to handle eyeliner. I've given her again two options for eyeliner. Typical black eyeliner and then we've got this one which is the Sephora Stabilo blue eyeliner. Now this... Oh Lulu! Fucking day is here. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, Lou coming out here kind of distracted us a little bit. Difa picked a blue eyeliner, so I've just gone in with the eyeliner, given it a little bit of a wing, brought it down a little bit to do that whole fox eye thing. And I think it looks kind of cute. It looks pretty good. She knows what she's doing. To finish off the entire look, we just need to figure out lips. So the first combination is a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in number three Intense. This one's quite dark. And that's going to be paired with this fluff matte lip color and mood, I think it's called. This one's from Sunny's Face. And then her second option is this combo from Jeffree Star, Valora Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Baby Daddy light color with the Dior Lip Maximizer Lip Plumper in 105. Got a light lip and a dark lip. Let's see which one she picks. All right, sit, turn around. Okay, go. Oh, Difa, do you know something? I feel like people are gonna be like, this whole thing was a fluke because you always pick the right side. Crazy lady. She picked the dark lip combo. So let's do that. I'm going in with the eye eyeliner, lip liner first. Wow. <laughs> That is a look. All right, now going in with the lipstick. Okay, so I just realized I didn't finish off my eye with mascara, so I just went off screen to do that. And this is the finished look. I mean, I am not mad at it. I do like the green eyeshadow with the blue liner combo. I think that's very nice. I personally wouldn't have chosen a dark lip like this. I think it's a little bit too much, but it's not bad. Oh. Look at this big baby girl. All right, so we've come to the end of the video. I just wanna say thank you to my beautiful little girl, Difa, for helping me choose all of the makeup for today. You did a very good job. Your belly full now of all those treats. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and um, if I should do another one, maybe with the cats. I don't know. Make sure you also subscribe and check out all of the other videos in my vlog series as well. Have a good day and I will see you next time. Tifa, say bye. See, look at it, it's gonna be there. Tifa, I need you to look here, baby. Perfect, that was great.